hey guys welcome back to my aim ami channel so we'll be studying about the line defects today so there are two types of line defects first is edge dislocation and second is the screw dislocation in edge dislocation the edge dislocation it is the insertion of the extra half plane of atoms in the crystal lattice whereas in screw dislocation the screw dislocation occurs due to the application of the upward and downward shear forces edge dislocation so guys in this image we can see that <coughs> there is another extra half plane of atoms that is the line vertical line this is the extra half plane of atoms that is the creating a distortion in the crystal lattice basically on the surrounding lattice you can see that so there are two types of edge dislocation the first one is the positive edge dislocation and the second one is the negative one negative edge dislocation so the positive is the inverted inverted t is the positive dislocation and the upright t is the negative so in this case the extra half plane atoms from the downward so that's why this is the positive edge dislocations so you can see over here in this image this is the positive edge dislocation so the displacement distance around the dislocation is known as the Berger vector and it is always perpendicular to the displacement sorry the dislocation line so in this image this is the line that is a displacement this is the dislocation line that is displacement distance so next one is the screw dislocation so the screw dislocation is formed in a perfect crystal by applying upward and downward shear stresses so shear stresses is very important term in this image you can see that there is a slip plane dislocation line is there there is b the b is the Berger vector okay <coughs> so guys what is the Berger vector so Berger vector is the characterizes the dislocation line Basically, it indicates whether the dislocation line is edge or screw dislocation. A Berger circuit is the atom or atomic path which forms a closed circuit, which is known as a Berger circuit. Next one is the surface defect. So this mainly comprises with the boundaries that have two dimensions. This includes mainly basically the external surfaces. So in this image you can see that over there on the surface of the plate there are some defects. Second one is the grain boundaries. I mean in the perfect crystals the grain boundary should be linear. Or oh, in this image you can see that this is the distorted grain boundaries. The next one is the tilt boundaries. So these are the angular displacement. So next one is in the surface defect that is twin boundary basically. So twin boundary is nothing but the mirror like structure you can see that. So this is the planar surface imperfections. Planar is very important word over here. The atomic arrangement of one side of the twin boundary is mirror reflection. This always occurred in pairs such as the orientation change. Next one and the last one is the stacking faults. As we all know the stacking it means the arranging the faults in the arrangement is known as a stacking fault so this is the faults in the sequential arrangements of atomic planes atomic planes is the main word over here so in this over here you can see that the atomic planes are perfectly stacked are arranged in the proper sequence over here the proper sequence you can see and these two are the stacking faults over here so guys uh, here comes the another image that is the uh, atomic arrangements planar arrangement so guys thank you for watching this if you have any doubts any queries if you have any question please feel free to comment below okay
please do watch my channel AMI. Please do like my videos. Please do share. Please do comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Mm-hmm.